Hey, what is up, guys? Um, this video is going to be a bit different because I'm going to be folding uh, clothes and organizing my laundry. Um, that'll make sense to you in just a second. Just so you know, I'm going to have a pile for like these polo shirts, uh, a pile for sweaters, a pile for like t shirts and other shirts. So I'm going to do that. So why, so why am I doing this? Basically, it's about getting into flow. And I'm using folding and laundry as a way to get into flow because when I'm in that flow state, I, you know, the, I think the video turns out better. I don't think I'm gonna, just gonna fold in every video, but for this one, I definitely wanna make it a point because if, you know sometimes it could be hard to you know just get in flow just standing there all right and that's why if you were to ask me my advice my best first date advice okay if you were to ask me what's the best advice for a first date i would say do not meet at a coffee shop or a bar or a restaurant um, or almost anywhere you want to meet don't meet at the destination what you want to do is meet meet somewhere okay you do need to meet somewhere and then you walk to the destination and the reason you walk to the destination is because walking stimulates the brain and that that that's what that's that's the flow state okay the flow state is just another word for stimulating the brain that's what flow is it's just stimulating the brain so when you walk you stimulate your brain and it's not like because the walking puts you in the flow state that means now you could just be really good at walking no it makes all your thinking that much better it makes all your thinking so much more natural, so much more creative, so much more innovative, um, so much more relaxed and comfortable. So when you stimulate the brain or, you know, when you go into that flow state, you're going to converse so much better. Like if you see me at tournaments or like a big tournament or if, it just, you might have experienced this. You go up to someone, you're like, yo, hey, what's up? And then you just stand there and you're like, so, what's up, dude? It's like, oh, I'm good. How about you? It's like, nice, nice. And you're kind of just standing there. You're like, uh, so, so when's your pool? It's like, oh, 2 p.m. Okay, cool, cool. You see, when I actually want to talk to someone, I'll, I'll be like, yo, let's walk. Let's walk. It's like, yo, walk and talk. And then we'll, I'll, you will always see me like circling around venues with someone talking. I mean, not always, but you'll often see that. And it's because I want to walk and talk because I actually want to have a good ass conversation. Because first of all, when you enter flow, anything's enjoyable. Like folding can be enjoyable, right? And again, that, that's why I'm folding. Uh, and, and like, I'm even unfolding to refold. So yeah, I always walk and talk because then you can have the sickest conversations. It just It just flows so much better. So it's like, in Smash, okay, let's bring this back to Smash for a second. In Smash, like I have a video on how not to choke, right? And it's about, you know, having faith and trusting yourself. So you're comfortable and you do go into that flow state. So let's say like, you don't want to choke. I think instead of going right for the kill. Okay, let's say, yeah, they're at high percent. You don't want to mess it up. Like instead of going right for the kill. Like, take a second to just be comfortable and or to just stimulate your brain, okay? Just to stimulate your brain. And I think, like, I haven't tested this, but like, you know, I'm just theorizing here and you guys could like test out your own theories, but like you could just like maybe move around a bit, you know? If I was playing Melee, I'd probably just like wave shine around or dr drill shine, I love that shit. Just wave dash around for a sec, just to stimulate the brain a bit and then when your brain's stimulated, you do the most amazing things. It's so natural. It's like, if you're trying to go for the kill, it's like meeting at the coffee shop, sitting down,
being like, oh, so what do you do for a living? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so do you want to go like shag back at my place, baby? Like, that's like what you're trying to do when you like fish for the kill, right? Instead, go for the walk. And then you'll have like a smooth ass pickup line that'll just come up like so naturally. Because when you're that comfortable and natural, you have the greatest creative insights. And it's, it's, it's very fulfilling and enjoyable to be in that state. And you'll be made aware of things that like you didn't even know you were doing when you're in that state, you know? So I, I think that's one thing to consider when it comes to like trying not to choke, um, to try to like put yourself in that brain stimulated state. Because when you're just sitting here trying to think, then like you end up, yeah, you end up saying a stupid pickup line. Right? And you end up choking. So instead of trying to go for the kill, take a second just to stimulate. Because if you don't stimulate, you're just standing there having a standing conversation. Now, does that mean when you practice with someone, should you aim for that flow of state? And I think the answer is like, yeah, of course. Now, like, should you only play one person if you enter that flow state with that one person? then I think no, because you do need to diverse. Like the, the goal is you want to have a bunch of practice partners you can get into that like flow state in. At least that's what I think. And you know what else? I, I've, I see a lot. And actually, before I get into that, I just want to say this brain stimulation thing, this flow state, it only comes from challenge. But the challenge it needs to be the right amount. If it stimulates you too much, then then you'll you won't be in that flow state. But if it doesn't stimulate you enough, then you also won't be in that flow state. So you need the right amount of challenge. Right? If if I fight a level 1 CPU, I won't get into flow. It's just too like boring. But if I fight a really really good ass player who's destroying me, then like you also can't get into flow state. But have you ever faced someone who's like just barely beating you and then you really want to win because that challenge is so stimulating like or be, like the more the closer you are to being able to beat someone you want to beat but you just can't it's that much more stimulating right it's so much more stimulating when you're almost winning right when you're barely losing and you're like ah damn i just want to win right that's insanely stimulating have you ever tried to have you ever played someone like that and then try to go to sleep after it's impossible. Like if you do like a Wi-Fi session with someone and like you're losing, like it's a it's a challenge you can't overcome. So it stimulates you really hard. Like if it's a really good challenge, I lose so much sleep cuz like I not because like I'm I'm like salty or upset. I mean maybe, but sometimes just like it's just so stimulating, right? But if you have it's easy, it's the opposite. It puts you to sleep, right? Or if it's too hard, then like, if it's too hard, it doesn't put you to sleep. It makes you, it makes you have super serious emotion. It makes you like want to rage or, or, or just like give up. So, or sometimes just accept, maybe not the super serious emotion, but, uh, yeah, you always want the right amount of a challenge. Now, um, like I said, like it's, it's about the difficulty, but also how stimulating that challenge is. Now, now something else I notice is like the best players in the world, a lot of them are actually, they actually have a brother. They actually had a brother who was in Smash, who also competed with them. Um, like maybe the brother didn't get as good, but players like Mars, Nairo, Esam. Um, I, 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 I mean, there, I'm sure there's some others and even on local scenes you'll notice, but like, like, I can only imagine how stimulating that type of challenge is, right? When you're facing your brother, you want to be the better brother, right? Like, that is such a stimulating challenge. And that, that stimulation, like, it, first of all, it's motivation, because you want it so badly. Second of all, it, like, it makes you so aware and, like, awake and creative on both, for both brothers. So, it, like, that type of practice, if you have a brother... Like, I've seen brothers get, like, really good. 
just just because like there's no that's such a stimulating challenge and you know every region like every city every like city's best player in smash is pretty good and it's because it's such a stimulating challenge because you could be the best in your city right you could be number one like the fight to num being number one is so stimulating because like think of melee one of the best players in the world was from Europe. And in Europe, there was a really stimulating challenge to be number one in Europe. And then going to America, that's, that's a really stimulating challenge to like try to beat Americans, right? So there's, there's no rivalries, like brotherly rivalries or like country rival, rivalries. And usually in like these cities, they like push each other, push each other until like one comes out on top and then it's complacent. You could say the same thing about like not even just cities, but also like friend groups. Cause friend groups usually have that one player who's the best, right? And then the rest are complacent. But, and, and that number one player skill is totally based on when all his other like friends are complacent. And unless, unless he goes out of his friend group to play competitive and play other people, um, then unless he does that, he will also be complacent beating them. Because if he's beating them, there's no more stimulation or if he, they're not giving him a challenge. If they consistently give him a challenge, then like eventually like, well then yeah, they'll keep pushing each other. But once once they get complacent, then everyone gets complacent. Um, and it's also up to the, the number one player to keep, to keep playing. Because if the number one player, the number one player has to keep competing, to keep giving like, the rest, I guess, like, opportunity. And, and because if he's not continuously beating them, then he's complacent beating them, right? And you can never be complacent body in your region, right? So you can see that complacency is the total death of flow. It's the total death of challenge and, stimul and stimulating for, for everyone. So... But that's the point on siblings. And I did create a video on that in the past. Now, I, th I think that's all I wanted to share. I did have some notes, but th th that's pretty much it. Basically, you want to stimulate the brain. And, okay, next time you play Smash and you feel like you're thinking too much, I think just do some stimulating movement. Because like, I think just pressing buttons, that's stimulating, right? Kind of like me folding. Practicing basic, easy movement. Yes, I know it's mid-game, but you could use your invincibility to do it just to start stimulating your brain. And I want you to call it folding the laundry. When you get off that respawn platform, and instead of going for the kill right away, you start doing platform movement, you're folding the laundry. Or when you're on your last dock and you're about to die, and you want to make the comeback, and you sense your opponent's nervous and you want to be comfortable so you could take advantage of their nervousness don't like run away panicky just practice the movement and be comfortable and that would be folding the laundry so fold the laundry in game it's a new in-game technique called folding the laundry and that is how i'm going to end this video so if you have anything you'd like to add on that uh, please let me know and thank you for watching guys. I'll see you next time